If you were to ask me what is the one place to visit when you're in Colombia, my answer would be the village of Barichara. The combination of the history, architecture, and location makes this village a Pueblo Partimoino, which also means a heritage town. Now, there's only 11 Pueblo Partimoinos in the entire country of Colombia, and Colombia is a pretty huge country, so this is a pretty big deal. In this video, we're going to be showing you the essence of this village, and we're also going to be eating at one of the finest restaurants in all of Colombia. We're heading into Barichara town to have a little lunch date and to roam around and see what the town has to offer on a Wednesday afternoon. This is the good life of being a digital nomad. Let's go. We were supposed to get a tuk-tuk on the campground, but the tuk-tuk driver has not responded. So we're just walking down the canyon to go find a tuk-tuk. We prefer to leave the van at the campsite whenever possible instead of driving. It's just much easier to not having to deal with parking and finding a safe area to park it in town and just enjoy ourselves without having to worry about our home. So that's what we're doing. We're leaving the van in the campsite while we explore on foot and uh, tuk 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 to get us into town and back to this campsite. It is midday right now. It's 12 o'clock and the sun is right above us and Everest is walking on gravel road. But this is how we check to see if it's too hot or not for him. You pretty much put your hands on the floor for at least 10 seconds. If us humans can survive this for 10 seconds, then the dog should be fine also. We have come to this restaurant called Elvia. It's recommended by my chef friend in Medellin at the Nan restaurant. And she said, if you wanna taste traditional Colombian food, this is the place to go. delicious maracuya is. This is maracuya with uh, haldi, with the turmeric in it and it's so delicious the soda. There are a few moments in our culinary journey that we remember some, some of those meals and this restaurant I think I'll remember it for a very 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 long time. After Oaxaca this is one of those places and after Naan of course that I'm just gonna remember from Colombia as a great experience. entire bill is $50 including the tip that includes appetizers main course two dessert two drinks a coffee it's unbelievable how good the price in Colombia is for the food unbelievable There isn't really much to plan and see around this town other than to get lost just walking around. It's so beautiful, you want to turn in every alleyway and click picture in next to every door. It's like some, some doors like blue, it reminds you of Greece. Beautiful like Pixar movie town. It is uh, time to head back because we're going to be cooking dinner for our camp hosts. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Sim is cooking some crazy Indian dishes. This van is an absolute mess, but uh, that's the reality of van life. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this right now. We'll show you what van life is. Real van life. Look at this. This is how we left it this morning. It's a disaster, it's like everything exploded. Yeah. Dinner was a huge success. They made some amazing chole chavas that nobody had ever had before. Introducing the amazing Indian flavors to all the travelers around the world has somehow become the most important part of our journey at this point. Today we are gonna go explore the famous El Camino Trail. The El Camino Trail is a short walk from our campsite towards the village of Guane. The Guane is the neighboring village from Barichara where we are right now. It's supposed to be the highlight of this area to make sure you do this walk. Camino Real, which translates to Royal Road, 
is an ancient path built by indigenous Guane people more than 150 years ago. It was mainly known to be used as a connecting path between the neighboring villages to transport goods and services with a total length of 35 kilometers. The views are amazing and if you look on the floor it's all large stone. The trail is fairly flat but uh, it's very uneven and uh, not very comfortable to walk on to be honest. Okay, we desperately need to get something to drink, something cold to drink and something good to eat. Hello. What's that? Good. Yeah, me too. Food. Come here? Yes. Yeah. Always pick vegetarian food. There's fresh vegetables and you can't go wrong with it. So This is the coolest bread shop you'll find on the streets. Panderia. How is it? So we are in uh, in one of the famous shops in Barichara. It's uh, known for its paper art. They produce different forms of paper, mainly from fink, uh, fike material, and then they mix it with different colors and textures and create different sorts of art from lamps, books. Like you'd be blown away the different forms of art they cover. The next day, we spent the entire day learning about sustainable practices with our camp hosts and how they built an off-grid home in Barichara. The full tour is already up, so make sure you go check that out after this video if you want to learn more. Okay, so we're back at uh, Elvia for dinner. We met a chef friend while we were here for lunch last time, and he recommended that we come back tonight because he's going to cook us a very special meal. Oh man, I feel so good being in the kitchen. Hola, estás? Bien, I'm so happy to be here. What kind of food is it today? Tonight you're gonna taste a little bit of what we do in our different projects. Victor in Bogota, he has two restaurants. Every single one of his restaurants is like fish or duck to table. Myself, I have a food laboratory in Costa Rica where I do foraging and I do tasting menus for four people a night for my Part of the menu, I literally went foraging in Barichara all over to harvest different grains and vegetables that we're gonna use. Okay, I won't bug you too much then, I'll let you get back to it. Fabulous, one of the most fabulous meals of our life. Thank you so much. Uh, the food was mind blowing. In Colombia, our experience with food has been average, but with you, it's gone really, really, really beautiful. I mean, the ingredients, the combinations, the service, everything is you're doing a Michelin star level job here. You know, it's perfect. Perfect. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much for having us again, and uh, we will let everyone know that Elvia is the best restaurant in Colombia. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you. After a few glasses of wine yesterday, I invited the chef, the three chefs from the restaurant to have Indian dinner with me and I promised them I'll cook Indian food for them. I cook a lot for all the time for everybody but I'm so nervous. We were running low on basmati rice and I was not going to feed these chefs any other rice and some spices and believe it or not I found a spice shop with all the Indian ingredients in Bari Chara. Are you excited about this? This is, a, this is something you find in every Indian household, every Indian mom has it, my desi people know it, but it's literally a spice container. It has a top layer for your solid spices, but inside you can store seven whole spices. You can have turmeric, chili, all like your day-to-day -day ingredients. So I'm very, very, very excited to buy this. We 
made it here before the chefs have actually arrived to their own accommodation, but that's fine. We're gonna start cooking. Uh, Sim's gonna make an amazing meal, no pressure at all. She has to impress uh, three chefs. You had Indian food before? Yes. Yes. Okay. My favorite. And, and have you? Have you had Indian food? As proper as this one, I don't Okay. Red Queen. Amigos, I'm going to explain the food the way our buddy did yesterday. The whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, this is a pulao, mutter pulao. Uh, it's just basmati rice cooked with some peas and whole spice and ghee. Then there's egg curry korma, which is uh, eggs cooked with the egg yolk and cardamom and bay leaves and chilies. Um, really rich. Then we had the pakoras. Uh, pakoras for appetizers and then I made a South Indian style rasam dal so there's no onion or tomatoes in this but it has uh, a lot of spices cilantro lime coconut very light hearted dish and that's the food yeah she's <laughs> so beautiful yes yes what do you think of the of your Indian home cooked experience. It's a home cooked. Like it's the best comfort food I could expect for my despedida from Barichara. <laughs> and it's not gonna do be you, food. Do you find Indian food, food too much? Like too in, too much going on? No, it's I think in, in, what I know about Indian food is it, this is really lively. Yeah. You know, it's intense. Mm -hmm, it is intense. But I, but I do like it, I do like spices. These the French chefs I've spoken to, they say that Indian food is too much going on. Yeah. They can't differentiate. Yeah. Uh, they're like, oh, I can't differentiate the flavor. It's no, it's not, it's not true. It's not true. You can you can feel the curry leaves. You can feel the cardamom. You can feel the, the toast, coriander. Mm -hmm. mm, no, I'm not. I, I don't agree. But it's, it's, it's an intense cuisine. Like mm -hmm. I don't know, like Japanese is really subtle. Soft, yeah. Yeah, but it's different. It's a different character. It's a, it's a different identity. And as well, it's reveal the identity of. People of the culture. Yeah, that's a true. Yeah. <laughs> so when, <laughs> when you say intense. when you say in, uh, go in India, it's not so, like a trip; it's an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you can that's reflected. The food, the, food, the food reflected. <laughs> it is intense, but who doesn't love it? <laughs> yes, that's so true. You know, uh, for me, every single bite has been like a firework, <laughs> a beautiful firework. Mm -hmm. It's been amazing how charming and how we can taste like your love and passion and the fact that we are here outdoors in a beautiful landscape, with beautiful weather, with beautiful friends that we made all over our journey. I think all this environment makes this food probably one of the most meaningful dishes or That's so true. that I've had in my whole life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I, f I totally agree. Like the way we met, the way we all came together, you know. And before you leave, I'm able to cook for you guys. <laughs> and that'll be a good memory in your life. That's how you'll remember us. Hello, we met that Indian couple who made us food. <laughs> 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 I, think, I think that's a good memory to have, you know. Yeah.